Rebel Charlie, thank you so much for your time, first of all. Okay. And uh, I really love, I'm going to start with you, Charlie. I really love that we get to hear the song, I Want My Old Life Back, because that's exactly what the book of your characters yeah. want. Uh, and a lot of people in real life want that as well, but a life without change, good or bad, does not exist. And I was wondering if you, do rem uh, if you ever had to remind yourself that the past is the past and now is now. Mm, that's a tricky, it's what I have to think about all the time, because for me, I have moments, um, stages in my life mm -hmm. with my father, with, after his death, with my sister, after her death, and each time, and then I've been with the same um, partner, we're not married, but he's been with me for 30 years, so there's also a before and after. Um, mm. So yeah, memory is part of, um, I go through that, questioning all the time. Yeah. And Rebel, I mean, what really came across after having seen the movie is that sometimes you really have to, uh, acceptance is like the only way to move on and uh, opening a new chapter doesn't necessarily mean that you have to leave behind everything, it just means that you have to figure out how everything you've loved so far can be still a part of your future, just in a different way. And I was wondering if that is something that you had to realize as well in your life for whatever reason. I definitely find in relationships like you, yeah, you're holding on, and, you, and then, and then, and then sometimes, yeah, you held on for too long, and you should mm -hmm. have maybe moved on quicker. Um, and I definitely like there was somebody, and I held on for like an extra year when I probably should have <laughs> was in my prime. I should have probably <laughs> like, like you know, moved on. So I definitely relate to that. And, and my character is an archaeologist, and so she, the, her whole thing is because she's kind of is stuck in the past, and and, and it's yeah. and it's hard for her to, her to move forward. But but I definitely think that's very relatable about right. yeah, not like not moving forward. But sometimes it's beautiful if you can move forward, but keep a piece of it, but but move forward. Exactly. Yeah, and Charlotte, your character says that I want the future and I miss so much. And, but other than your character, a lot of people in real life miss out on great opportunities because they tell themselves all the time tomorrow, not knowing if tomorrow will be the same like today. So I was wondering, how do you make sure in your life that you don't miss out on great meaningful opportunities that you can experience right now? I'm, I'm not very good with... Um you know, with my um, whole, with managing my life, I I don't have principles. Yeah. Right. You know, it's not like a a film where I can relate to the character and explain stuff. In real life, I just um, I hope I go with the moment rather than look back and get stuck in the past. But um, I yeah, I don't. I don't work on myself in that yeah. way. Yeah, right, right. And what about you, Rebel? Because your character gets told by Gwen that we should not waste our lives with tears and that time goes by so fast and that we really, that we really should grab life. Mm. Tony, how do you make sure that you really grab life without wasting too much of, you know, of your precious time? I think, I think I'm someone in real life, like obviously my character's a bit different, but in real life, like I really do, like seize the day and the French term, what is it? Joy de vie, is it joy, joy of life? Yeah, 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 yeah. sorry, I pronounce it really bad. <laughs> um, that of just like taking life and grabbing it and then someone's like, oh, do you want to come to this country and do this fun thing? And I'm like, yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and then like recently I just put on a rubber suit in Iceland and went down this freezing cold river because just to like, to seize the opportunity and to and to take life yeah. and and to meet different people and to do crazy things and people that like when they see some of my life they're like holy crap like you do you do a lot um, so as so I think in real life I've been very good at doing that I don't know why it's just my personality of like just really seizing the moment and taking all the opportunities because you never know where it'll lead and I feel lucky in my life so I'm just like ah I just experience <laughs> right. everything. Yeah. So awesome. Seriously, Charlotte uh, Rebel, thank you so much for your time, for sharing your stories, and you have a wonderful stay in Zurich. No thank worries. You. Thank <laughs> you so much for those questions.